Welcome to Daisy Nicks Recipes and DIY Crafts. Hi everyone. Today I'm bleaching another t-shirt and I'm going to be putting a bit of a scenery onto this one. Now what you'll need is some bleach. I've tried a few different bleaches, but the Tesco Fresh Bleach worked the best. I put it into a spray bottle and I've put three quarters of the bleach and a quarter water just to make it easier to spray and that, that works really well. So what I'm doing is I've cut out some strips and made into little buildings. I have used a Stanley blade and to, to cut out the patterns on that one. So they're pretty easy to make. I'm using card because it's the best to use, a heavy paper or a card. You don't want to use just normal paper because it'll just get too wet when you spray the bleach. So make some little buildings. Also, I'm going to put a star and a moon on my design and I find the easiest way to make a star is to first of all make a little diamond. The thinner and pointier your diamond is, the pointier your star will be. And then that's easy just to draw around and you get a really good star shape from that. And then I've done a moon. So for the moon, it's very easy to get a moon shape. If you draw around sellotape or any circle that you've got, and then you can bring this into any size for your moon. So if you do it about there. And then you just cut out this section here and you get a really good moon shape. So I've already done that. And I've got everything ready. So I'm going to arrange it onto my top. Now, first of all, iron your top or t-shirt because any creases does seem to come out in the bleach. Design I'm doing today, I'm putting a top section on. There we go. And then I'm going to put some clouds along the top. Maybe one in the middle there. And these along the top here. Then the moon. A star, a cloud there as well. I'm going to sellotape these into place along the top of the card. So when you're happy with what where it is, you can just sellotape them into place. I may have to just hold that down with something heavy. So I'm happy with those there. And now I'm just going to do along the bottom. I'm putting a piece of card along the top and bottom first because I don't want bleach on my edges. So I'll just place these on. You can just place them wherever you like. And I'm also going to sellotape these into place as well. There we go, they're still movable, but um, they're just held onto the pieces of the card. See, so there we go, I'm happy with that scenery. I am gonna have to just weigh this down at the top a little bit. There we go. Okay, I also have some little sprinkles which are star shaped, and I'm going to pop some of these on as well. Now 
And when you're happy with where they all are, I'm happy with that now, so I've now got my spray bottle. Give it a little shake and make sure you just do a spray in the sink first. So just gently, you don't want too much, but just gently spray all of the area with your bleach solution. There we go, so we're just going to let that dry now, probably for around 20 minutes, half an hour. You can take your pieces off. It's best to spray in a well ventilated area or perhaps wear a little mask because it can get into your throat a little bit. There we go, so we take all these pieces off now. Try not to lean on the t-shirt or touch the t-shirt while you're taking any pieces off. I'm still taking the pieces off, but you can already see that it's starting to bleach. been literally probably a minute so far so there we go that's it so far it's been like a minute or so it's now been about four minutes and you can see it has gone a lot paler Okay, it's been around 15 minutes now, and I'm really, really pleased with the results. I'll come a bit closer and show you. Come out really well. It's very sort of creamy white it's come out, compared on the pink. But yeah, there you go, very pleased with it. The washing is just the same as any other top. I did wash mine separately on its own on a normal 40 wash and it was absolutely fine. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more DIYs. Thanks for watching.